Hey there, get ready for a ride into the world of unexplained history. It's like a doorway to enigmas that even the smartest scientists can't totally figure out. In this vid, we're diving into 20 mind-boggling picks and findings from all over the world. Every one of these snapshots gives us a super interesting peek into events and stuff from way back that just don't make sense. Number 1. The Mysterious Stone Spheres of Costa Rica Starting with the mind-blowing stone spheres in Costa Rica, these bad boys, found hidden deep in Costa Rica's rainforests, have had archaeologists and researchers scratching their heads for ages. Imagine this. These stone spheres, ranging from tiny to over 2 meters in diameter, are perfectly round, and they're made from super hard rock called granomere, which makes their creation even more mind-boggling. These ancient civilizations were on a whole other level of precision. But here's the kicker. No one's quite sure what these spheres were all about. Some think they were used for astronomy or religion, while others say they marked boundaries or helped with navigation. And get this, some even think they're leftovers from an ancient lost civilization, or aliens dropped them here. Local folks in Costa Rica value these spheres big time, and they're even a UNESCO World Heritage Site. But the real twist, we're still unraveling their mysteries today, and it's a head-scratcher. These spheres are like a symbol of how smart ancient peats were, and a sign that our planet has tons of unexplained secrets waiting for us. Number 2. The Anomalous 1911 Airship Photo Back in 1911, a photo surfaced that set off a frenzy of debates and wild theories. Get this. The pic shows a super fancy airship hanging out above Huntington, West Virginia. But here's where it gets juicy. This airship is like something out of a sci-fi movie, way ahead of its time. And guess what? This pic is the only record of it. Now let's talk about the details. This airship isn't your typical blimp or balloon. It's got a sleek shape, a bunch of propellers, and it looks like it could carry a bunch of people. But here's the kicker. This was years before the US built its first Zeppelin-style airship. Can you say plot twist? Theories? Oh, you bet there are plenty. Some folks think some genius inventor cooked up this high-tech ship ahead of its time. Others? Well, they're not ruling out a good old prank or some early photoshopping shenanigans. But here's where it gets tricky. No one's found any proof of tampering, and the person who took the pick? A total mystery. Bottom line, that 1911 airship pick? It's like a riddle wrapped in an enigma from the past. We're left scratching our heads, and it's a glimpse into a mystery that's still unsolved. A crazy pit stop on the journey of human flight history. Number 3. The Mystery of the Time-Traveling Hipster We're heading back to 2010 when a mind-blowing photo from 1941 popped back into the spotlight. It's all about the reopening of South Forks Bridge and Gold Bridge, British Columbia. The crowd's all in line with the times, except for one major standout, enter the time-traveling hipster. This dude is like a blast from the future. He's rocking modern gear like a logo-printed t-shirt, a hoodie, and sunglasses. Totally out of place in 41 and hold onto your hat. He's even holding what looks like a modern camera. Talk about an odd combo. Now of course, skeptics have their say. Those sunglasses could be a stretch but not impossible, and that logo. Some say it could be from a Montreal Maroons hockey team sweater that existed back then. And the camera? Possibly a Kodak folding pocket model from that era. But even with all that logic, there's no shaking off the weird vibes this dude gives off. The debate's been wild, and it's spread to the big leagues. Academics and the online crowd have gone nuts. People are even tossing around time travel theories. This hipster is the ultimate mystery, a total oddball in a historical pick. Is he a time traveler, a fashion rebel, or just a trick of the eye? The dude's a puzzle that keeps us hooked, and the quest for answers marches on. Number 4. The Unidentified Flying Object in the Madonna with St. Giovannino Painting the unidentified flying object in the Madonna with St. Giovanni, we're talking about a 15th century painting. The Madonna with St. Giovannino, by the Italian artist Domenico Ghirlandaio. This painting is more than just a pretty picture, it's got an unexpected twist. In the spotlight, the Virgin Mary and Baby Street John the Baptist. But wait, what's that behind them? A glowing object in the sky, caught by a dove in his dog, the man's shielding his eyes, and the object's got this eerie light. Some folks say it's a UFO, an unidentified flying object, a sign that aliens were chilling way back when. Hold up, skeptics aren't buying it. They say it's a divine symbol, 
Maybe an angel or the Holy Spirit. Classic stuff for art of that time. Or maybe it's the star of Bethlehem or a heavenly sign. But here's the real twist. Nobody knows for sure. This painting is a masterpiece in mystery, sparking debates about what's really going on. This story is a reminder that history is full of surprises, even in the art world. So whether it's aliens or angels, one thing's for sure. Our past got a lot of secrets waiting to be unraveled. Number 5. The Piri Reis Map This masterpiece, crafted by Ottoman bigwig Piri Reis back in 1513, has had history buffs and scientists scratching their heads since day one. Check this out. The map's got the whole world covered, with Europe and North Africa in the middle, plus some Atlantic Ocean action and chunks of the Americas and Antarctica. But here's the kicker. It's weirdly accurate about parts of the Americas, especially South America's coastline. And here's the twist. In 1513, folks were still figuring out the new world. So how did Piri Race nail it with such detail? Hold on to your hats. It gets even crazier. The maps got Antarctica without ice. But guess what? Antarctica's last ice-free era was like 34 million years back, way before humans were even a thing. So, how on earth did Piri Reis know this? Now theories are flying like crazy. Some say this map's a mixtape of ancient sources that Piri Reis jotted down, some of which are long gone. Could these have been from an uber-smart old civilization? Skeptics, of course. Chime in. Maybe the Antarctica bit's a mix-up or some imaginative thinking. Or maybe sailors of the time just had some quirky ideas about the world's shape. Regardless of the theories, the Piri Reis map is like a timeless puzzle that stumps researchers. Its weirdly accurate bits and mysterious twists remind us that history's got layers upon layers, and our ancestors might have known way more than we thought. Number 6. Hold on to your hats for this mind-bending picture. The 1964 Solway Firth Spaceman photograph. Picture this. A serene family day out, and a firefighter named Jim Templeton from England snaps a pic of his daughter near Solway Firth. Now, the real twist. When the photo gets developed, who shows up in the background? A spaceman-looking figure. Tall, dressed in white, wearing a helmet or visor, and facing away from the camera. Jim swears there was no one else around when he clicked that pic. Even Kodak and the police looked into it. No tampering found. But of course, skeptics jump in with their theories. They say that spaceman. Actually, Jim's wife accidentally captured in the shot. Her blue dress could have turned white due to overexposure. And that helmet. Just her hair. That supposed visor? Probably just a shadow from her hair across her face. But here's where it gets wild. Despite the explanations, this picks a head-turner. It's been on TV shows, documentaries, the works. Folks can't stop wondering if it's aliens, time travelers, or beings from another dimension. The Solway Firth Spaceman is like an icon of the unexplained, a puzzle that keeps us guessing. Number 7. The Anachronistic 1930 Beach Photograph You know how mysteries can pop up in the most ordinary spots? Well, here's a gem from the 1930s, a pic of beach lovers on Canada's British Columbia coast. Among the crowd rocking the typical beach styles of the era, there's one guy who sticks out like a sore thumb. Buckle up, he's in modern clothes, a graphic tee, shorts, and his hair style more for the late 20th or early 21st century than the 1930s. You can see where this is going. The surfing time traveler theory takes the stage. But you guessed it, skeptics are in on the action too. They say his tee might be a rolled up sweater and those shorts. Rolled up slacks. Both could work on a hot beach day, right? Even that modern hair might be just the wind or wet hair playing tricks. Not a time warp. But here's the twist. Despite the logical explanations, this pick's still a head-scratcher. The surfing time traveler mystery isn't giving up the ghost. Whether he's a legit time hopper, a style guru, or just a trick of the camera, his image is like a riddle that's rewriting history. Number 8. The Voynich Manuscript's Enigmatic Images We're diving into the Voynich Manuscript's Enigmatic Images. Named after the book dealer Wilfred Voynich, who scored it in 1912, this 15th-century codex is like a puzzle wrapped in an enigma, leaving the smartest folks totally baffled. Imagine this. Inside the pages are cryptic drawings and a text in a language that's got everyone scratching their heads. We're talking botanical wonders, starry diagrams, ladies taking a dip, and medicine-related sketches. But here's the catch. Nothing matches up to what we know. Those plants. 
not like anything on Earth. And those star charts, they're like an astronomer's wild dream, nothing like what we've seen before. Get ready for some theories. Some say it's a pharmacy guide, others claim alchemy, and some even think it's just fiction. But here's the twist. Despite tons of brain power trying to crack it, that text and the meaning behind those strange images are still a code no one's broken. The Voynich Manuscript? It's like a history head-scratcher on steroids. Its captivating drawings and cryptic words open the door to a world of mystery, an invitation to explore the unknown, and a challenge that's kept us all guessing. Number 9. The Nazca Lines from Above those massive geoglyphs etched into the desert by the ancient Nazca people in Peru. You thought these lines were fascinating from the ground. Well, check out their aerial view. Animals, plants, shapes, all etched into the sand. It's like a puzzle that's making minds whirl. But here's the catch. These designs are huge and can only be fully appreciated from the sky. The kicker? These people were around almost 2,000 years ago. How on earth did they create these giant artworks? especially without an aerial view. Time for theories. Some say religion or astronomy was the deal, that these lines were like a huge observatory or a map of water sources underground. Others think they were part of rituals to bring forth water. But guess what? None of these theories totally explain how precise these designs are or why they chose these specific symbols. And the big mystery, how did the Nazca folks pull off these massive designs with such accuracy when they couldn't even see them from above? Get ready for some wild ideas. From alien runways to giant calendars, these lines' meanings are as varied as the shapes themselves. But at the end of the day, we're left with this jaw-dropper. These incredible geoglyphs are best seen from a perspective the Nazcas shouldn't have had access to. It's like a history puzzle that's still driving us bonkers. Number 10. The Hook Island Sea Monster Photograph Get ready to dive into the mysteries of the sea with the Hook Island Sea Monster photograph. Yep, the watery world has its own enigmas, and this one's a doozy. Back in 1964, a Frenchman named Robert Lesurek was vacationing with his family down under in Australia when he snapped a jaw-dropping pic. Imagine this, the photo shows a massive, tadpole-like creature, estimated to be a whopping 70 to 80 feet long, lurking in the shallows of Stonehaven Bay on Hook Island. It's like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, with a discernible head, eye, and a twisty body stretching into the deep blue. Now, prepare for some theories that are as wild as the waves. Some folks think this is a living prehistoric marine reptile, like a plesiosaur. Others toss around the idea of make a sized unknown species of eel or ray. But wait for it. There's also the hoax theory. Maybe someone cooked up a plastic sheet, weighed it down, and made it look like a sea monster. Even with all the doubters, this photo's kept the public cooked for decades. The Hook Island Sea Monster is like a symbol of marine mystery, a tale that cryptozoologists, those who hunt for hidden creatures, love to dive into. It's like a splash of intrigue in the world of unexplained phenomena. Number 11. The alleged 1870s. Billy the Kid Photo. Get ready to dive into the mysteries of the past with the alleged 1870 Billy the Kid Photo. Photos are like time capsules, but sometimes they're a roller coaster of authenticity that leaves historians in a whirl. Here's the scoop. In 2010, a photo was snatched up for $2 at a memorabilia shop. This tintype picture supposedly shows Billy the Kid in his game. The regulators having a chill game of croquet. If it's real, it'd only be the second confirmed snap of the kid, making it worth millions. But hang on, confirming it's legit isn't a cakewalk. Facial recognition software gives a thumbs up between the kid in the gnome pic and the croquet gang figure. But there are doubts too. Some historians aren't buying the croquet scene, saying it's too fancy for the rough outlaw life. Here's the twist. The pics caused a huge fuss. It's even got a National Geographic doc. Historians, forensics folks, and Wild West buffs can't stop talking about it. Whether it's a golden historical relic or just a pic of random 19th century folks, the alleged Billy the Kid photo shows how a simple image can kick up a storm of history questions and wild theories. Number 12. The Eerie 1920s Levitation Photography Levitation Photography And here's the kicker. This was way before digital trickery. This pic features Colin Evans, a spiritualist medium who did seances in the dark, using sporadic flashes to light up the scene. 
Imagine this, in the photo, Evans looks like he's floating mid-air surrounded by stunned onlookers. Now here comes the debate, critics are saying it's all a setup, maybe hidden supports or wires. But on the flip side, supporters are waving it around as proof of Evans' supernatural powers. This levitation snap of Colin Evans, it's like a peek into the past fascination with all things spooky. It shows how far folks would go to prove the supernatural's real. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, this picks a piece of history that still leaves us wondering. Number 13. The Yubei Lizardman Statuettes These things are like puzzles that bring up more questions than answers. These terracotta figures were dug up at Al Ubaid in Iraq, an ancient spot that predates the Sumerian civilization. Imagine this. These statuettes go way back, dating to 4000 to 5000 BC. They've got a humanoid shape but with reptilian twists, long heads, eyes like almonds and scaly skin. And here's the twist. Some of these little statues show lizardmen doing everyday stuff, like nursing babies or holding staff that screen leadership vibes. These Yubei lizardmen statuettes are like a blast from the past wild side. They're shaking up our understanding of ancient cultures and making us wonder about the beliefs, rituals, and art of our long-gone ancestors. They're like little time capsules that keep us pondering. Number 14. The Unexplainable Fairy Circles of Namibia Hold on tight for a trip to the Namib Desert's arid grasslands, where something truly bizarre is going on. The Unexplainable Fairy Circles these weird patterns are like magnets for scientists and tourists, and they're captivating folks in Namibia and beyond. Imagine this. The fairy circles are circular patches of land that are totally bare, surrounded by short grass. And here's the kicker. They're like a honeycomb when you look from above. You can find these circles all over Namibia, in various sizes from small to really big ones. But guess what? The explanations for these circles are all over the place. Local myths say gods or divinities did. Scientists have theories from termites to plant battles, gas seepage, and even radioactivity. Crazy, right? But here's the twist. No one's nailed down a definite cause. The fairy circles of Namibia? They're like nature's puzzles that keep experts debating and regular folks totally curious. It's a reminder that sometimes the most enchanting mysteries are just hanging out in plain sight. Number 15. The 1959 Dyatlov Pass Incident Photographs This one's like a puzzle wrapped in a mystery, and it's got people talking for years. Back in 1959, nine skilled Russian hikers met a chilling fate in the Ural Mountains, under circumstances that have left everyone totally baffled. But wait, there's more. Photos recovered from their cameras add even more layers to this enigma. One pic shows a blurry figure near the trees, and it's been called the Yeti Photo. Yep, like the legendary creature. And there's another creepy shot. Taken on their last night, it captures a weird light or orb against the dark sky. Here's where it gets wild. While the incident itself is still a riddle, these eerie pics add a spooky visual to the story. Folks are tossing around theories about secret military stuff and attack by indigenous people, or even supernatural forces. The Diet Love Pass incident photographs. They're like snapshots from the Twilight Zone, adding an eerie twist to an already baffling tale. It's like a mystery that's become legend, a puzzle that's still driving us all bonkers. Number 16. The Astonishing Patterson, Gimlin Bigfoot Film This one's got it all. Fame, debates, and a giant creature that sparked arguments for ages. Picture this. Back in 1967, Roger Patterson and Bob Gimlin whipped out their camera in Northern California and captured a mind-blowing sight what they claim is Bigfoot in action. Here's the scoop. This short film shows a huge, hairy, two-legged creature striding through a clearing. But hang on. Even with a gazillion analyses, folks can't agree on whether this thing's legit. Some say it's a dude in a costume, while others argue that the way this creature moves and looks is way more primate-like than human. Now here comes the twist. Whether it's a hoax or a groundbreaking discovery, this Patterson-Gimlin film has kept people fascinated and talking. It's like a puzzle that's made folks debate the existence of hidden creatures lurking in the far corners of our world. Whether you're a believer or a skeptic, this film's a legend that won't quit. Number 17. The Bizarre Fresno Nightcrawler's Footage Get ready for a dive into the truly weird, the Fresno Nightcrawler's Footage. This one's like a mystery wrapped in an enigma and then dipped in the bizarre. Imagine this. 
in the late 2000s, surveillance footage from Fresno, California, gave us a peek at these things, the nightcrawlers. Picture it. The video shows these short, white leg-like beings walking across a lawn. But here's the kicker. They seem to have no arms or torso. Yep, it's as weird as it sounds. And just when you thought it couldn't get crazier, a similar thing popped up in a video from Yosemite National Park. But hold on tight. The way these creatures move and look has everyone scratching their heads. Theories? Oh, we've got them. From video trickery to space aliens, indigenous tales, or even hidden creatures, there's no shortage of guesses. Now, here's the twist. Even with all the doubt and lack of extra proof, the Fresno Nightcrawler's footage has a hold on cryptid fans and mystery buffs. It's like a whisper of the bizarre lurking just out of sight, making us wonder what other strange stuff might be happening right under our noses. Number 18. The Nampa Figurine Back in 1889, while digging a water well in Nampa, Idaho, workers struck a peculiar treasure, a teeny clay figurine buried about 300 feet deep. This little masterpiece shows a lady, and here's the twist, it looks human-made. But wait for it, the real head-scratcher is the depth. The layers where they found it should be around 2 million years old, way before humans supposedly set foot in that area. Some folks think this figurine is a sign of ancient advanced civilizations, or an out-of-place artifact. But mainstream science, oh, they've got their doubts. They say it could be from drilling or maybe a newer artifact that got mixed up with older materials. The Nampa figurine, it's like an archaeological puzzle that won't quit. Whether you're a believer in ancient mysteries or a skeptic, this little lady keeps folks talking and wondering about the secrets she holds. Number 19. The Antikythera Mechanism's Complex Diagrams Back in 1901, a shipwreck near the Greek island of Antikythera revealed a real gem, what some call the world's earliest analog computer. This ancient Greek gadget, from around the 1st or 2nd century BC is like a gear-filled masterpiece with inscriptions. But here's the twist. This thing's not just any contraption. It's got the ancient Greeks beat in the astronomy department. This gadget could predict celestial events like eclipses and track the dance of the stars and planets. And that's where the mystery kicks in. This level of astronomical savvy seems a bit beyond what the ancient Greeks should have known. Guess what? Even with all the studying, there are still parts of this mechanism that are like secrets waiting to be unlocked. The Antikythera mechanism is a window into a world where ancient tech meets cosmic curiosity. It shows that we're still scratching our heads over the incredible knowledge that ancient civilizations had. Number 20. The last photo taken aboard the Eileen Moore Lighthouse. This one's like a mystery wrapped in the sea mist, and it's a puzzle that's captivated people for over a century. Imagine this, off the coast of Scotland, on the Flan Isles. There's a lighthouse on Eileen Moore. Back in 1900, three experienced keepers were on duty. But here's where it gets spooky. Come December, all three just vanished into thin air, leaving behind an empty lighthouse and a sea of unanswered questions. And then there's the photo. During the investigation, they found a snapshot. It's the last photo taken at the lighthouse before the keepers disappeared. And guess what? It shows one of the keepers, Thomas Marshall, Look in trouble while a storm brews in the background. Hold onto your hats, because the law book found at the site mentions some really bad weather. So this photo, it's like a chilling glimpse into the future, right before disaster strikes. But wait, there's more. This enigmatic photo and the whole lighthouse disappearance thing. They're like a masterclass in how images can weave themselves into history. Even though the photo might not give us all the answers, it adds a haunting layer to the mystery. It's like a snapshot of the ominous mood that hung over the lighthouse right before its keepers vanished. The last photo aboard the Eileen Moore Lighthouse? It's a testament to the eerie unknowns that the corners of our world hold. It's a story that's been sailing through time, keeping folks wondering and imagining what might have happened on that fateful day.